In this social traffic video, we're looking at LinkedIn, which is L-I-N-K-E-D-I-N dot com, LinkedIn dot com. It's basically um, a relationship on social networking site. And basically what it allows you to build is to do network marketing um, the correct way. I'll read a little bit about the site here. It says your professional relationships are key to your professional success. Their mission at LinkedIn is to help you to be more effective in your daily work and open doors to opportunities using the professional relationships you already have. It's not networking, it's what networking should be. Forget exchanging business cards with acquaintances that don't know your work or trying to renew professional ties when you need a favour. LinkedIn is an online network of more than 25 million experienced professionals around the world represented in 150 industries. When you join, you create a profile that summarises your professional accomplishments, your profile will help you to be found and also to find other former colleagues, clients and partners. You can add more connections by inviting trusty contacts to join LinkedIn and then connect to you. Your network consists of your connections, your connections connections and the people they know linking you to thousands of qualified professionals. It basically allows you to do many things like for finding potential clients, service providers, subject experts and partners who come recommended, allows you to be found for business opportunities, search for great jobs, discover inside connections that can help you land and close deals, post and distribute job listings, find high quality passive candidates and get introduced to other professionals through the people that you know. It's free to join and there's also a paid membership level. The great thing about LinkedIn is if you're building a good strong network of people in your industry it's a great way to find potential joint venture partners or even business partners both in the online and offline world so definitely worthwhile joining joining it is very simple we first of all start off at the home page and as you can see here over 25 million professionals use LinkedIn to exchange information ideas and opportunities stay informed about your contacts and industry find people and knowledge you need to achieve goals and control your professional identity join LinkedIn is as simple as putting in your first name your last name and your email address and hitting continue which we're going to go ahead and do now You'll then be taken to the second screen where you go ahead and create a password, choose the country or postal code, your current position of employed, business owner, looking for work, etc. Company name if you have one, your title and your industry, and then just join LinkedIn. You then get the following screen, which is how do you want to use LinkedIn so that you get the most from it. Tell us a bit about how you intend to use it. So to find well, what can help you, um, what can your network help you with? Finding a job, finding consulting or contracting positions, reconnecting with colleagues, staying in touch. You can choose what you want to find and you will also choose how you want to be found by other people. So what kinds of things do you want to be contacted about from other people? Do you want them to contact you about career opportunities, requests for providing reference, messages from friends, inquiries about a position with your company or yourself, deal for proposals, etc. So you can fill in the information here and then hit save settings one thing to note here is the more you open yourself up to be contacted the faster you can look to perhaps grow grow relationships and contacts with inside LinkedIn if you're more restricted on what people can contact you about you'll find you're not going to get so much people contacting you via the LinkedIn network at the next stage you're asked to confirm your email address check your email for confirmation message or request another one and then share knowledge and tap into relationships connect the business people or connect the people in your professional network within LinkedIn so you can build your network find contacts or audio networks you can log into your different accounts like Gmail etc and they'll check to see who ready is on on LinkedIn that you can always connect with you can also go through your um, address books uh, current and past colleagues if you want to and former classmates you can find those as well to start growing your network on LinkedIn very quickly first thing we're going to do here is to go check our emails and just confirm our access to this site you'll just get an email through like this one here LinkedIn email confirmation click here to confirm your email address or you can paste this one into your browser you'll ask to be logged into your account to confirm this email address and be sure to log in with your current primary email address on the system and then once you confirmed it you're ready to go 
as you can see we've clicked the link we're brought to the sign in to the link page to finish the signing in process and we just go ahead and sign into our site again once you import your contacts you can just go through clicking which ones are relevant to you and then you can go ahead and add a personal note to invitation and invite the selected contacts to join you in your LinkedIn profile so it's a good way of growing your contacts very quickly once you set up your profile within LinkedIn you can invite contacts directly to LinkedIn you can import them as we said from your different um, webmail accounts colleagues if you perhaps working for a particular company you can um, connect with your colleagues within that company and also classmates what you do is inside your profile you can add a school and start finding classmates that you went to school with so you just click the link and then you go from there to start finding people you perhaps went to school with and link up with those if you then connect with past colleagues you basically put in your last job title and the company you worked for and the years you were there and then you can find old colleagues that you work with in the past as well this helps you build up a network of people who you used to work with so you can find old colleagues as well by going to the group section you can start going through the groups directory to look to join groups you can then look at groups that you've joined and you can also create groups as well and just within networking alone there's uh, 25,429 results but you've got um, sites for example like toplink.com you have got the um, enterprise architecture network if you happen to be involved in architecture you've got on startups which is a community for entrepreneurs where there's over 13,000 plus people um, in the on startups group and you've got wireless jobs uh, the group is currently capped at 10,000 members therefore preference is given to those already members of the wireless jobs community join the group and then check out the information so you can look at different levels of groups that you can join to start networking in just by searching for different terms and then choosing maybe alumni groups corporate conference network non-profit professional or other so you can actually choose what category here and search find relevant groups and join those and then you can get involved with those people in your particular niche market it's a great way to establish this at yourself as an expert within your field if you can't find the group that you want to join create your own I only suggest doing this though once you start to build up a good network of with inside LinkedIn don't go creating a group the first time you log in unless you've got something really positive you can, can contribute on an ongoing basis a great way to start improving your credibility rating within LinkedIn is to go to the questions or the answers section and to start answering questions um, within the different groups so if there's questions that you can help people on then you can go ahead and answer them the more you can contribute to groups that are relevant and questions and help people the more likely people are going to be coming back um, to looking at your profile and obviously this in turn is going to get you clicks to do that all you need to do is just ask and um, answer questions and then if you want to make sure that your profile set up so that when people are coming back to your profile to check out your information they can see what websites you own so just click on the profile link and then you can start showing information you'll see the information you've already got your position where you are um, your profile you can look at the current profile what your job is past jobs educations any recommendations if you had any connections once you grow the industry you're in and then you can start adding websites here so that people in your profile can um, see what websites you own or run public profile you can also change this to make it a more a nicer looking um, link you then go through and you start editing more in-depth information like your experience your education and if people have recommended you etc this helps you the more people recommend you the easier it is when building up your contacts within LinkedIn in the additional information section you can add your websites interests groups you're involved in honors and awards you've received to give users more insight into your professional qualifications this really is the opportunity for you to display everything positive about yourself and how you can help and benefit other people at the end of the day the more you're in it to help others the more you'll be rewarded yourself with both your contact list growing and people visiting your profile with inside LinkedIn recommending you as well 
once you've taken the time to fill out your profile correctly, upload photographs, put through previous job histories, a bit about yourself, what your company's doing now, etc., and you've started building your connections, you can then start getting introduced to other people through connections that you have. So the more connections that you can start off with, the more likely your own network is going to grow much faster. With the Companies Sats tab, you can even do research into companies. This is a beta at the moment, but more and more has been added. So, for example, we wanted to research more about Facebook. We can see that they've got um, profile information here when it was founded. We can see um, there's 391 total employees of Facebook um, on LinkedIn. So we've got the board observer here. We've got um, senior platform manager. Um, people they've just employed recently in different departments so you can start using this over long term to start making contacts with people in your particular market and your business you then get stats and breakdowns as well so LinkedIn as it's going to grow is going to be a site that's going to have more and more information that will be useful to you even if you're just researching in certain niche sectors as they add more companies within this beta section so it's a good research tool as well as a social networking tool and then finally here we've got the job section so if you want to post a job and you need to fill a position you can use LinkedIn to actually find people and, and look for jobs or you can even look for jobs yourself if you decide you're back on the jobs market and you want to go find a particular job in your field make sure your profile is filled out and you can even use LinkedIn to find relevant jobs that might be suitable and then start connecting with those people obviously the more recommendations and connections that you've got the better your chances of applying for applications and jobs but also when you're actually posting positions you might want to fill in your organization as you're growing maybe it's research writers or designers you can find people with inside LinkedIn as well so LinkedIn is not just a straightforward social networking site it's got more facets to it more areas that's worth researching just make sure that you first of all visit your profile and fill it out and max it out as much as you possibly can import as many of your contacts as you can and then just send them a polite message saying you're now on LinkedIn with they like to connect to your network the faster you can grow this set two sections the more opportunities of you building more contacts with inside LinkedIn thanks for watching